This is Steve. <laughs> Steve, and welcome back to another episode of Crock Potting with the Colonel. And I have the ravishing Mrs. Ritter, also known as my producer, is on camera today. Hi. She's not going to say anything, are you? You're not going to say anything, are you? No, she's not. So, But she has been... Uh, extremely helpful. She's giving me some ideas, and uh, we were sitting around talking the other day. And we're going, you know, it'd be good. It's like like tacos, like chicken tacos, and a crock pot would be good. So, we went to the store last night, picked up a bunch of stuff. We're going to toss it in today. Does that sound good? Sound good for you? Yes. All right. So, the mysterious, ravishing Mrs. Ritter. She is real, by the way. So, some of you have kind of joked and said, "Oh, she's not real. She's real." She's re oh what was what? <laughs> we had a hand sighting. <laughs> Somebody said that on one of the videos. They're like, I I saw her hand at seven minutes and forty four seconds or whatever. <laughs> so there <it> was. <laughs> Slowly, eventually, you're going to be in front of that camera, aren't you? You no. <laughs> they can't see you behind the camera shaking your head. <laughs> All right, well, and somebody else said something really nice, too, I thought. She, they said, uh, you know, she's out there now with you, and, and it seems like the stress has left your shoulders, and you seem seem happier and all that, and, and she's good medicine, as she is. I, and I, I responded back, and I said, she's the chicken fried steak, or she's the gravy to my chicken fried steak, the vanilla ice cream to my apple pie. Spiced up. Okay, she. I'm getting. A, I'm getting to move it along now. I'm starting to drag out. All right. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, all the ingredients and the directions are down below. Like most crock pot recipes, this is this one's pretty simple. Toss it all in. There is a little bit of prep. So we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna cook it on high. We're gonna cook it quicker because I gotta work late tonight. So we want to have this done before we leave. So this would be a good put it in the crock pot, go see a movie, come back, and it'd be done type setup. So. Um, we're going to, uh, all the ingredients and the directions are down below on your way down there. Hit the thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little bell too, uh, there. So you'll notify when I, when I put some new videos up. So let's get cracking. All right. So, um, I've got here, I've got, uh, I found this in the, and we found this in the, in the store. This is just old El Paso salsa, whatever brands your favorite salsa. So we're going to use. Um, I actually remember, uh, that Marty Robbins song, old, uh, El Paso, you know, down in the West Texas town of, I, I just always remember mom singing that song. It just kind of reminded me of that. So this kind of, so I already, I'm going to put this in. It's, this is pretty, really simple, simple recipe. So salsa goes in the pot. Well, this is some thick salsa, isn't it? I'm going to have to use some water on that. I've got one jar of mild and one jar of uh, spicy. I'm going to mix a little bit of water in with this. So I'm maximizing the salsa usage here. And um, I could, man, I could just eat salsa all day. Salsa and chips, that's probably one of my favorites, huh? All right, so salsa goes in, and we got it all out there. So waste not, want not. That's what somebody said on the last video. I've got a pack of Old El Paso taco seasoning. This is mild. Uh, obviously, if you like it a little spicier, then spice it up. But uh, just one pack of taco mix, taco seasoning. Now I'm gonna. I will stir this up here. I've uh, got some. Just a pinch of salt and pepper. I got these packs here, so I'm going to use these. Now, the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter, my producer, I was going to use one pack of salt. But I've noticed something. I've been a little uh, liking salt a little bit more these days. Right? Like salt? She won't answer that question. No nod on the camera there. So, just a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay? Now, I'm going to... Ooh, what we don't need is paper in there. All right, so I'm going to come over here. So we'll mix all that in a second here. So I've got some uh, uh, cilantro and uh, uh, about, I'm going to end up with about two tablespoons here. Um, 
or more. We'll see how much this is. But if you don't like cilantro, if you're one of those people who have said that they think cilantro tastes like soap, then uh, parsley would be good. Um, but being half Thai, my wife grew up eating cilantro with a lot of the Thai dishes and Asian foods that her mom would make. So I'm just kind of kind of rough chop these up. I do like cilantro. Very tasty. Kind of wishing I, I should have got my got the Jedi knife and used that, but this is working fine. All right, so there it is. About a couple of tablespoons of cilantro. That's going in. And I picked up a couple of limes. <coughs> Cut these up and I'm, so these are brand new with the hotel, brand new knives, and um, these are really sharp. Normally with these hotel knives and such, they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty dull. And this is a juicy lime too. Most of the time, uh, the limes you get fine at the grocery store always seem to be real, uh, real dry, you know. So I'm going to just put the juice from two limes in here, too. Give this a good squeeze. My Kung Fu grip. Get that in there. That goes in. we got less than a week now before you head back. So i got this. I've uh, been watching the news like you all probably have. This... Uh, Omicron variant that they're talking about the COVID now and I'm I'm hoping that's gonna just that we don't lock everything back down again hopefully and the thing I'm reading about the symptoms are pretty mild to the people that have had it I just it just seems like we live in fear these days every little thing we're jumping at so I, I'm, and I say that because Arlene's traveling back, and I'm going back for Christmas, and I sure hate to have that ruined. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is mix mix all that up now. This is the spatula that I've used the last time for the uh, spaghetti. It was white. Now it's orange. Or as Bella would say, orange. Well, actually, I say that. She makes fun of me when I say it that way, but... Uh, um, yeah, this is, uh, it, it still works. It's just kind of funny that it's orange now. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Future stayers here in this room. I'm going to mix this all up. Mix it all together. All right. Now I've got, last thing that goes in, I've got uh, four chicken breasts. And I'm, I've washed these off now, and I'm going to just kind of tuck them in here. Yes, I I, uh, I did pick the big piece of the fat off for you. So that was for my producer. I got a worried look on her on her face there. Kind of tuck them in there real good. Now what's going to happen? Those are going to oh that's a good idea. She says I should flip them over now to make sure it's all covered. Now as this cooks, obviously it's going to. Now there's no real tomatoes in here to kind of cook off the liquid from like there normally is so that might be about as much sauce as there's going to be and then you put the top on I'm going to put it on high cooking on high for about three to four hours that's it um, we're going to get to uh, the next thing when we cut to we're going to be taking the chicken out and uh, and breaking it up and then putting it back in the sauce and mixing it together that's the next thing so through the magic of time and editing, we'll see you in about three to four hours. So you'll be right back. Hey, so we're back. It's been three hours now. So three. That's the European three. This is the American three. Three hours. Back now, we're going to check on the chicken. It smells good. Um, let's take a look and see how it's going here. So this has been on high for three hours. Ooh-wee. Well, that smells good. 
I'm going to take this out now, each, each individual piece, and shred it up. So I've got my new handy tongs here. I think this is the first time these have been used. Oh, that's not right. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take this to just basically just shred this chicken up. Probably be easier with two forks, don't you think? Just kind of shred it up and then we're going to put it back in. This is all cooked. I don't see any pink in there, do you? No, nope, looks all cooked. <laughs> oh. Boy, this is just like, look at it. It's just, it's just soft. It's just falling right apart. And I love slow cookers like this, crock pots. So it's already starting to... I think we stirred this up once, kind of checking it to make sure it was all working right. The chicken was all covered and everything else. So we're going to pull this all apart and then put it back in there. So we went out, to, went out for a coffee. They do have Starbucks here. So the ravishing Mrs. Ritter does like her triple venti caramel macchiato extra hot. It's like a different language we're on that, huh? But uh, we went out for a drive, and that's what I miss when I'm over here is that time together with you, driving around, talking. She does talk, even though she doesn't talk on camera, but she does talk, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> She's smiling, shaking her head now. Get too close to you, back off. <laughs> back off now, too close. It's like a bear. Don't get too close. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. <laughs> so this shreds up. Well, this really shreds up nice. So I use chicken breast here now. I've gotten to where I like cooking with thighs because the thighs have a lot more flavor but the chicken breast and it went a whole lot of bones and all kind of all that nonsense in there. So chicken breast works great for this because it really the sauce really gets that flavor you know, it soaks it up in the meat here so we shred it up and we're going to toss it back in there and let it soak up some more of this good salsa flavor and then uh, and then we're going to put it on our tortillas we got a little pack of mini tortillas, going with the flour ones. So you could use hard shell or, uh, oh shoot, you can even make burritos out of this, I suppose. Chicken burritos, put a bunch of stuff. So I think that's all the chicken out of here. So I'm going to feed this chicken back in and stir it around in there. So, yep. Back in you go. Shred it up. Use my orange, orange spatula here. Mix it all up. It should just kind of soak it up. Now I'm going to use these tongs when I take it out to put it up for make the tacos. Use the tongs to. Uh, See, that mixes up nice, it mixes in. It's going to soak up even more of that salsa goodness. Give it a good stir, make sure we get it all up, all the goodness. We'll put the top on. Let I, I turn it on low now, just to, actually, I'm going to put it on warm and just to keep it warm until I can make the tacos. So the next step now, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get our... Tortillas ready. I'm going to add some avocado to it. And with this, uh, some shredded cheese and some sour cream uh, should be good. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back now. I'm going to build my chicken taco and taste test it for you here. So this is what it all looks like. So chicken's kind of soaked up the sauce. Got all that good flavor in there. I'm going to use tongs. You probably can use fork or something like that, but I'm going to use tongs and there's really no extra juice to shake out, but I've got plenty of sauce in there, soaked it all up and it's really done nice. And uh, also, you know, I've read that 
this freezes real well also. So, um, so here's my toppings over here. You got a picture of this here? So we'll get that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down and put this on here first. A little bit of chicken. Just tortilla, just flour tortilla shells, put a little bit of chicken. Now I've, I've got some avocado. I'm gonna put some avocado on here. Love me some avocado. And I've got some extra cilantro. That's gonna go on here. I've got some sour cream. I'll put that on. I'll spread this on here. Love that sour cream. It's good stuff. And then some cheese. There's my chicken taco. You can use onion or, again, if you don't like cilantro, if it tastes like soap to you, then use um, parsley or green onions, maybe. I don't know. So onions, whatever your favorite taco toppings are. So this is what I got for this. Mash this up. Now we've kind of heated these tortillas up. That's a life hack that the ravishing Mrs. Ritter uh, showed me in the past. Just heat that tortilla up a little bit, makes it nice and soft, just in a pan for just a couple minutes. So I'm gonna try, is it cool? It's not gonna burn my mouth, is it? <laughs> how, do you, how do you shrug your shoulders? <laughs> She's shrugging her shoulders. All right, so I'm blowing. It doesn't feel too hot. All right, so I'm gonna try it, here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. That is very tasty. Mmm. That lime juice on there too gives them a nice little, nice little zip. Mm -hmm. And the sour cream mellows it out some. Mmm. Of course, avocado. Love avocado. That's it. It's easy as that. Chicken tacos. Now it'll freeze well. Just put it in a bag. Make sure you get all the air out of it, and it'll freeze for up to a couple of months. Is what I read. So we won't be freezing this. We'll be eating this. So how's that? Good. Did I do good today? I'm asking my producer. Okay. Good. No. Was that no? Oh no. The up and down. That's yes. <laughs> all right. Well, this is the Colonel signing off. We thanks. Uh, Again, recipe directions down below is pretty simple and delicious. So I hope you enjoyed it. This might be our last cooking video before we head home for Christmas, right? Maybe. All right. Anyway. All right. It's Colonel signing off. We'll see you next time. Take care.